Hello, hello, it's Tamflet here. Welcome to part 9 of 25 of the College Entrance Test Review. Credits to the Review Masters for providing me with these items. To continue, item 33. Anne will be P years old in Q years. Her age R years ago was, and we're given with four choices, involving the variables. So uh, it might be a little bit too technical since we're dealing with variables. So note that we can always substitute uh, values of the variables to uh, simplify the question a little bit. Now the only tip here is that make sure that uh, the values you assign will give us uh, different answers so that you can differentiate each one. So for example, choice A, if I let P equals 10, Q equals 2, and R equals 5, I will be getting 7 as P plus Q minus R. So that's choice A. For choice B, P minus Q plus R, this is going to give me 13. For choice C, P plus Q plus R, this gives me 17. And then for P minus Q minus R, this gives me 3. And then now we can uh, proceed to think of this question. Anne will be 10 years old in 2 years. So uh, in the present, Anne is 8 years old. So Anne is currently 8 years old because she'll be 10 years old in 2 years. And we're asking for the age 5 years ago. So from 8, we're going to subtract 5. So our desired answer should be 3. And since from the four choices, D is 3, so we, it must be the case that the answer here should also be D. So this is a, a trick you can use to answer these types of questions. For item 34, if a jeepney ride costs 8.50 pesos for the first 4 kilometers and 1.50 pesos for each additional kilometer or fraction thereof, uh, meaning if you just traveled half a kilometer, it's going to add half of 1.50 pesos. So given this condition, then how much would a passenger pay for a 12 kilometer ride? And we can try to list it down using a table. If we have the kilometers or the distance less than or equal to four, it's gonna be 8.50. And then since we're, we're paying an additional of 1.50 per kilometer, so we can see the pattern here. If it's five kilometers, I'll be paying 8.5 plus 1.50. If, if I travel six kilometers, it's 8.50 plus 2 times 1.50. So we add the number of times uh, or number of kilometers, it's greater than 4. So 5 is greater than 4 by 1 kilometer. So we multiply it by uh, 1 times 1.50. For 6, it's uh, 2 kilometers greater than 4. So we're, we're going to have 2 times 1.50. So for 12 kilometers, we should have 8.50. And then we sit, since we traveled 8 additional kilometers, we should be having 8 times 1.50. So all we have to do is simplify uh, this. So it's going to be 8.50 plus uh, 8 times 1.50. That's going to give you exactly 12. So 8.50 plus 12. You guys can do the maths. And this is going to give us 20.50. So from the four choices, we have choice D. For the next item, it's another, uh, it's another one of these where you have variable given and a variable answer. So, well, obviously one way is to literally expand this and then simplify, that's a way. But an alternative technique is to substitute a value of x because uh, we have variables in the question in the answer as well. So if I let x equals 1, the four choices will become as follows. So choice A, 2 times x squared is 2 times 1 squared. This gives me 2. So for b, it's negative 2x squared. So negative 2 times 1 squared. This gives me negative 2. For choice c, 2x squared minus 8x. That's going to give me 2 times 1 squared minus 8 times 1. So that's 2, that's 2 minus 8. This gives me negative 6. And then for the last choice, 2 times 1 squared. That's 2 minus 8. So 2 minus 8. That's give, that gives me negative 6. But I'm adding uh, 6, so this gives me 0. So Make sure if you're uh, trying some values to substitute, you get four answers that are different. So you can easily compare them and distinguish each one. So all you have to do is check what this uh, value evaluates to. So 5 times 1 squared, that's 5. Minus 4 times 1, that's 4. So 5 minus 4, that's 1. We add 3, so we're going to get 4 in the first bracket over here. Now minus 3 times 1 squared, that's 3 plus 4 minus 3, so this is just 4. So we would end up with uh, 3 plus 4 minus 3. That's going to give us 4. So we're going to just uh, get 4 minus 4. And this is 
in fact equal to zero. So in the four choices, since choice D here equals zero, then the correct answer to this question must be choice D. So similar vibes as in question 33, where we substituted uh, random values for uh, the variable givens. Now last for item 36, this is just a simple algebra practice. So we're going to solve for x in the equation. 6x minus 15 is less than 4 plus 5. So let's simplify 4 plus 5 first. So 6x minus 15, that's less than 4 plus 5, that's equal to 9. And then we add 15 to both sides. So for negative 15, you put it on the other side, it's going to become plus 15. So we will be having 6x is less than 9 plus 15. And then since 9 plus 15 here, that's equal to 24. So we're going to have 20... We're going to have 24 here, and then divide both sides by 6 to get the final answer of x is less than 24 divided by 6, that's equal to 4. So since we have x less than 4, we should have choice C. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in part 10. Bye-bye!